I never shut the fuck up about how good sleep is for your hormone health and therefore for your skin health. Coming from someone who has been through it with their skin, has PCOS and has figured out lifestyle changes and diet changes to keep your skin in check. I take great pride in my nighttime routine. I want to share it with you so you can get some of the benefits too. I walked up to my bed last night and I looked at my bed and I thought, damn, that looks so good. I'm going to sleep so well tonight. So the first thing that I do is I use red light at night. Honestly, the reason I stumbled upon this is by complete accident. I moved into this flat about three years ago and I couldn't see any bedside tables that I liked. So I just bought strip lights off Amazon for like six pounds, stuck them with sticky tape behind my headboard and it came with this remote and now I can have whatever light I want. Turns out the red light encourages melatonin production, which is your sleep hormone. So being around red light, aka reading a red light and sitting in bed in red light makes you sleepier. It fucking worked. So I turn on my red light at night. Probably sick to death of this advice, but I read before bed. Even though it's a screen, I still sleep sleep way better when I read before bed versus when I just turn my phone off and like try and sleep straight away. I know it's hard but you can break the habit and create a new one of reading and reading with red light at the same time is a powerful combo. Before I get into bed I take some supplements including zinc picolinate. There is so much evidence that zinc picolinate in particular supports acneic skin. They have found that people who have acne are often deficient in zinc and therefore I take this every night and I take it at bedtime because apparently it can cause some stomach disruption. But I personally have never experienced that and I just now I'm in the habit of taking it before bed. I also take two things that my naturopath has given me for leaky gut. On the right we've got marshmallow root, it basically creates like a film on the stomach lining which means that food particles and random things can't permeate the lining, reducing inflammation and overall well-being. And then on the left we've got liver support, these are all herbal. Liver support is basically dandelion and a bunch of other herbs that help the liver to detox. The, the liver obviously knows how to detox already but we're going to give it a bit of help and both of these things you should probably ask your doctor whether you should take them but I just want to give you full transparency over what I have. Then I get into bed and my favourite lip product for nighttime, not daytime, I have a separate one for that, nighttime is the Rode lip treatment, peptide lip treatment. This keeps my lips hydrated for days. I had really low expectations because it's a celebrity skincare line but I really rate it for overnight. If you're someone who just always has dry lips or if you skip a couple days of lip balm your lips are just dry try this overnight, will change your life. And then finally, something I've been doing recently, my nose is a little bit oilier than the rest of my face, and I've been putting this just on my nose, and I notice in the morning there is no excess oiliness. And for me, that just goes to show that when you moisturise areas that are oily, you can actually reduce the seemingly oiliness of them. It doesn't necessarily mean that your skin produces less oil directly, but by giving it what it needs, you can kind of quell it and see more desirable skin as a result. So next up is something I discovered recently, which is earplugs. I just never thought I needed them because I don't find it noisy when I go to sleep. I don't have a boyfriend sleep in my bed that often. So I thought I didn't need them, but since I've started using earplugs, these are the ones that I use because I feel like I've got small ears and so they're not too big for me. They just, they've just leveled up the quality of sleep I get. I'm dead to the world. I also find it really calming. If you're the kind of person who likes wearing earplugs or headphones, even when you're not listening to something, just because it makes stuff quieter, you're gonna love this. The first night I used them, I realised I could not be without them. I nearly forgot to include this. This is my LED mask. People always ask me to make a video about it. It's from Cure. Put the name on the screen. Have a code in my profile. It has two settings. Blue light, red light. Blue light supposedly kills acne bacteria to stop it from forming and spreading and growing. Red light supposedly boosts collagen. I use it every single day. I do three minutes of each light. Yes, I think it works. I think it prevents me from... Will I ever know for sure? No, but I've used it long enough to believe that it does show me effect. 